Thursdays on the Now Morning Show. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This morning we're going to be chatting about the life of an artist in Tobago. What kind of artist? A visual artist, of course. Shanari Richardson joins us via Zoom. Good morning, Shanari. Hey, good morning, Mr. Ruckus. How are you doing this morning? I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything's good. <laughs> well, I guess I could say welcome back because I know you were on the show before. Last time I saw you, you were painting the Red House. Yes. <laughs> How has life been treating you since then? Well... It, it actually it actually went up in a um in an upward upward di upward direction rather so everything nice. has been going smooth so far yes T tell me about the journey tell me about the journey because every, all, most artists that we talk to seem to be having either really creative moments inside the pandemic or really horrible times inside mm -hmm. the pandemic it's kind of one extreme or the other so tell me about your experience well my my own is actually a creative journey rather because during the pandemic now, you know, you don't have much time to be going wrong and doing all that things where you used to be doing now. So you actually have more time to be focusing on the craft now. And actually getting more time to like focus on God and actually get tired. Like actually, he might, he might be giving you the guidance and stuff like what to create, what not to create, you know. And it's along that line and the creative process has actually been a, been a great one for me during this pandemic, rather. Well, nice. Give thanks for that. Tell me about about the business yeah. side of it, though. Um, in terms of being uh, your clientele in Tobago, mm -hmm. has it has it improved? Has <clears> it <throat> opened up a little bit more? How has that been going? Well, it actually have been. It actually has improved uh, much more. Not just in Tobago, no, but Trinidad and Tobago, and actually the wider world. Well, why? Nice. It's because you know the pandemic now. People actually people normally will travel, go parties, etc. And now they actually have more time. Actually, not have more time. But they have actually saving their money and stuff. So they actually have they're looking for stuff to do, looking for things to buy for people. Like say for instance, like I do the pumpkins as well. So people looking for things to do. So they will actually um contact me for the pumpkins things as a form of mm -hmm. recreation. Right. As well as um as well as um I normally do mainly portraits and commissions as well. So that that's actually one of my most telling selling um speech product rather and that is what's actually people are actually using that as gifts and stuff and that it's actually because right now i have i have orders even from since quite last year coming coming right now presently and as portrait orders yes portraits mainly nice man well we see in some of your portraits that you would have done of some some prominent people i'm seeing dr eric williams calypso rose shadow and um what what is the inspiration for doing the, the portraits? How do you decide on who? If it's not a hired piece? Well, if it's not a higher piece, like for instance, I might get like um I might just be the the God might just drop um something like see, for instance, like this one time I was just there, like when I was at UE, I was just there and um there and I tell you God said, Ping Gary. Then like Gary Griffith would just became the police commissioner and I said, Pien Gary. I said, yeah, Pien Gary. And then after, I said, okay. And after I painted, it kind of blew up and it kind of opened a lot of doors for me from since then on. Yeah. Nice. And speaking of doors that have opened up for you, I understand that you were painting at a, a prominent wedding the other day. <laughs> yes. Tell, so, tell me about that experience. Happened, yes, that was, that, that was like a very blowing experience where that so just um, a newly elected chief secretary and I just and I basically was like the very first person to actually be be part of to present him with the artwork as well. That was like so mind blowing. So how did that how did that start off? Um I met this caterer called um Kenya Johnson, Long Sean Frienders. So she actually um she actually contacted me and she said she got she got um she got hired to do a catering job for um for Pali's wedding. So she said um Shinari, you want to do a um, collaboration? So I said, um, look at that collaboration. He said, um, painting on a cake. So I was like, painting on a cake. So I said, I'll pray on it. Um, I prayed on it. So I got back to it. And I, I really, because I really like the idea. But I had to pray on it because it's something I never did in my life. So I just prayed on it. I, I actually went on the task. And actually, it was well received because everyone was like, so shocked. Everyone never saw something like that. Everyone was like, I never saw anyone painting on a cake in their life. And that was just like, mind-blowing 
So tell like me about... Like when experience rather. When you're, when you're paint on a cake, you're not using normal paint. I assume you're using some kind of spray paint or some kind of food-friendly paint or something like that? Well, it doesn't normally have the... It has a, it has a different thing. You know, you have acrylic paint, oil paint, and you actually have, you actually have you know, food coloring and stuff you would normally use on these things. Right. So you use the, you use the food coloring and use a regular paint brush? Yeah, when you use it, uh, when actually a clean paint brush because the car <laughs> just use a normal paint brush, you know, I don't normally paint it because I have like tons of paint brushes. Oh, right, right. So you have to go and buy fresh ones for this one to make sure that people can eat it after. <laughs> yeah. But is that is that part of the experience uh, strange because you're custom painting on, on canvas or on things that people can mm -hmm. keep, right? But after you paint on a cake, it's going to be devoured. And that's fine. It's something that I'm I, I looking at. Uh, something I'm looking at getting into. Some, because these days you had to be innovative, no? You can't mm -hmm. just be doing the same things like from since um in the 18th century come right back. You had to be innovative because really and truly we we live in a we live in a progressive world and had to um had to do things progressively and you think outside of the box. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right. Well, what other projects you have uh, that 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 going on that we wanna you wanna tell us about and and what's coming up next for you? Well, currently I'm pre I'm, I'm preparing for, an ex for my first solo exhibition that will be around Independence Time. I haven't gotten the, the exact date and I haven't gotten the um the the team and stuff. I still have to pre on it and stuff and stuff like that. But every bit it's like. Is that what that was? That project was something that was way long overdue. Ever since I kept basically kickstart my career, like I would say I kickstarted my career fully as I, as when I decided to be an artist in 2014. Um, everyone will be like, um, you know, when you're doing the exhibition, where when you see your piece being exhibit, exhibited, um, I'll be like, um, well, I'm not ready for that as yet, although I, I, I was in group exhibition and stuff, but this will be the, my first solo exhibition. And and that was that it was a long overdue as I said before because everyone was like that and I was like I'm not ready for that as yet I still need I still need to develop myself as an artist still need to know what what's going on in the art world and art market still need to know what's going on because normally you can't just say you're, you're picking up picking up paintings and stuff like that and they say you're dropping it in an exhibition although it can be done but. I like to do things in a in a sort of a professional way, and you feel understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, that um, makes sense. That's that how I. Yeah, everything had to make sense. Everything had to be well uniformed and stuff. Every, because you can't just say you can't just have like a a piece of stretch a stretch canvas piece and just have a wild a wild piece there. That that will be kind. It will be kind of off. Is that they having one or the other? That's how these kind of things work. All right, I hear you. So tell me, where can people find yes. you if they want to check out some of your work? Uh, is there an online space that we can go to? Well, you can find me at Facebook at uh, Shanari Richardson Art, Instagram at uh, Shanari Richardson Art, that's Shanari underscore Richardson underscore Art. Right. Yes, uh, my website will be coming soon. As right now, it's actually in the, in the developing stage. It's not finished as yet. Nice, man. Nice. Well, Shanari, you've been doing fantastic yeah. things, and I would encourage you to keep it up. Yeah, and thank you. you so much for being an inspiration to all of us out there, because art is something that not many people can live by. So I applaud you, and I yeah. urge you to continue. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, man. Do enjoy the rest of the day, Shanari. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, same to you. Man.